So, hey guys, it's Pieface, and I'm back, hold on, <clears throat> with another video. <clears throat> Sorry, I am very sick still. On this map that you've seen before, uh, but not like this you haven't. So, I've changed a lot of stuff already. You can see um, the beacons and everything are changed. Um, <clears throat> also, I have a little question for you about shaders because you may notice that I'm getting a good 120 FPS right now which is pretty cool for me um, because for some reason hang on I have a GTX 17 a GTX 750 Ti graphics card which is not the best graphics card it's not a Titan or anything but it's decent um, and uh, I also have 64 gigs of RAM on this PC, which is crazy, um, crazy lots. And uh, I've only been able to dedicate, I've only been able to allocate one RAM, one RAM, yes, one RAM, please, uh, one gigabyte of RAM to Minecraft. Ever since I've had this computer, um, I've never figured out how to allocate more, and uh, I just figured out it was my Java. I've had 32-bit Java, and I all, I just needed to install 64-bit, and now I can have as much RAM as I want. So I've allocated. 4 gigs, um, which is 4 times as much as I've ever been able to have, so uh, my FPS is great. I have like a 1,000 FPS when I'm recording. So I have a question for you. Shaders, yay or nay? I could uh, do future videos with shaders on if you wanted me to. So just post in the comments if you want the shaders in future videos, and I will turn them on. I'm going to have them off for now just because, you know, I, uh, I don't know if you guys want that yet. And uh, I'm just going to assume no. But if you guys post in the comments that you do, then uh, I will put them on. So, yeah, I'm just going to show you these guys, you guys the map. Um, I haven't changed the intro, so you can watch the older video uh, if you want to hear that. Any, uh, you have not seen the video that came before this one about the same map. So, I've also changed the I'm back sign to make it like 3D and stuff. Looks pretty cool. Uh, yeah, anyways, let's, uh, let's start the map. Um, I'm gonna be hollow. Sound like a, a creeper there for a second. All right, so I'm gonna be rage. Uh, and if you haven't noticed already, these textures I animated myself because do that. Fucking pixel genius. Um, yeah, they're just sea lanterns, but you know, uh, I figured I'd do this parkour again, just to, just to show it off to you guys how the gameplay works and everything. Um, and you guys remember the checkpoint system from last time. I'm going to get a checkpoint here. Yeah, that was a fail. I also changed the beacon texture itself on the inside. Hold on. Sorry about that. I am still very sick. So, uh, yeah. You guys do remember the checkpoint system from before, from last video. Hopefully. Hopefully you guys don't have amnesia or anything. Just watch that video and then immediately watch this one because you will forget after five minutes. Oh god, that 50 first dates reference. Also, real medical condition reference that is very sad and should not be only associated with an Adam Sandler movie. Uh, which is a thing that I should have said first and not immediately gone to... Oh, uh, Adam Sandler. God. What is our culture? I remember Rob Schneider saying like, uh, hey, I hate on Adam Sandler all you want. He's the reason I have a boat. Oh no, a pool. Pools are reverse boats. I forgot about that. Bathtubs are reverse boats. Pools are reverse cruise ships. It's true. You ever been in one? Actually, no. Um, bathtubs are definitely reverse boats. I think pools... What are pools? Because they're in the... I mean, like, above-ground pools are definitely reverse boats. There's no doubt about it. But I don't know what, like, in-ground pools are. It seems like... Like, there's no... There's no comparison there with, with, with a reverse idea. Um, hmm. In-ground pools are... Uh, are there any... Are there any, like 
football fields that are like above the ground because like that could be a comparison because like there's dirt oh no they're reverse islands there we go i got it i got it reverse islands because the dirt's on the inside and the water's on the outside on the on, in an island and in a pool the dirt's on the outside and the water's on the inside bada bing i got you see we're uh making history here it's like my friend uh eric said once he said uh uh, toasters pop out toast, and I put toast in myself, so therefore I am a reverse toaster, which is genius. Absolutely, absolutely genius. I gotta say, I gotta give him credit for that. All right, let's do this. This is all. This is all the same, except for the beacon textures, which are just I showed you those already. All right, I, get, I added a checkpoint here, but I guess I missed that that time, so I'm going to do this fair and square, legit style, Magic the Gathering crack style. In case you have never seen the top-rated Reddit post of all time, it is hilarious. A man goes to a Magic the Gathering convention and poses with all of the butt cracks. I'm not going to give you any context for that. Context for that. But if you go just go to reddit.com slash r slash all and then sort by top, you will see it. And it bleh, it will open your eyes and your butt. That that sounded wrong. I apologize. I didn't mean it. Okay. Alright, we got this. Um I'm I believe Oh yeah, yeah, I added this part. Everything from this point on is new. So we've got this like step well style thing with like the stairs that go out and around and then it goes in the middle with a checkpoint and then it goes out here into this space vagina as I like to call it but you can have your own name for it for whatever you want uh, I also just really like the design that I've given to this it's like a like a swirl um, what is it? Uh, a spiral that's what it's called god not a swirl the Skyrim Shuffle. If you can't do the Skyrim Shuffle, I can teach you. Here's a tissue for your pants, cause you're wet. Okay. Ah, uh, oh, dang it. That is difficult. It's very nerve-wracking. We've got a little bit of a, a meth race in here, by the way. So I've just I've just put this thing on top of the quartz texture, which I kind of like the look of. All right. Uh huh. Yeah, I did it. I feel so accomplished. What? Damn it. Okay. Whatever. I accept my defeat. My feet have been removed from my body. I have been defeated. Okay, got this. Ah, <clears throat> oh, dang it. Alright. It's gonna happen. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. You guys are gonna. God, I was gonna make that like little girl on the bike reference again. That was hilarious. From the last video, you know, self-referencing. Oh yeah, meta. <laughs> Sorry. All right, now we're on the outside. Got this. Also, did you notice inside there was like that this cool like rotor thing at the end of the tunnel? I just like how that looks. Because I made it myself. It's gonna happen. Alright. Huh. And onto these floating carpets. Another checkpoint. Up and around into this big rotor, which I uh, took way too long to make. Go on in here. I made this while watching Michael Keaton's Easter candy sketch on SNL, which is my favorite sketch of all time, I, I have to say. It's pretty it's pretty f goddamn fucking fantastic, as Michael from Rooster Teeth would say. Is that his name, Michael? I don't know. Alright, and uh, after this slime chain... Alright. 
just want one like random random like in the mix of slime sounds to just be like pfft, where you just get like stuck in the slime block that'd be pretty hilarious you just, you just like wait what no hold on okay sorry Nope. Okay. Mm that was weird. Just like. <laughs> oh, God. <sighs> oh, yeah. My language pack. I forgot to tell you about that. Ripped apart PyFace Pro into atoms and glued them back to in your blank. Also, if I say something in chat, PyFace Pro says hi. Um, language is something that you can edit in a resource pack, which I think is amazing. Um, so like anything in the game, like when you die, you got wrecked, who cares number, zero, be a man, be a quitter, I don't know, I just like that, uh, so yeah, uh, I don't think there's much redstone to explain here, there's an execute command for, uh, I mean, there is the redstone for the checkpoints, in case you didn't know how to do that, which is pretty simple. But I'll, t I'll show you that in a second. There's just, like, an execute command that executes a command on every player that's standing on courts to give himself speed. Also, this inside of the space vagina is just great. I just like it. I don't know. Wait, I haven't, I haven't seen it from this angle. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I'm, I'm really, really wet right now. I'm like... I'm like the ocean in my pants. Yeah, uh, sorry about that. Um, yeah, I've got all my redstone. I think it's on this side. Yep, this is all the redstone on the map. And uh, this is just for spawning the checkpoints. So these, this block up here makes it clear weather all the time. This block down here. Uh, so I've added, I've added two teams and two scoreboard objectives. The teams are red and blue, and the scoreboard objectives are red and blue. So what I've done is, um, I've made Rage and Hollow join the, their respective colored teams, and I've given these armor stands with blocks on their heads. Let's see, let's bring this one back here. Let's render that. There you go. I've also added a third team, so that... Uh, scoreboard teams join... Hi, Pyface Pro. Yeah. I've added a third team so that I don't affect the checkpoints in any way. But uh, what happens is I've given these armor stands. This one has a red score of one, and this one has a blue score of one. <laughs> Sorry. I'm still very sick. Um, and uh, I made it so that uh, whenever you are two blocks above, whenever a, a player on the red team, I'll just say a red player and a blue player and a red armor stand and a blue armor stand, just to make it simple. Uh, whenever a, a red player is on, uh, is two blocks above a beacon, hold on, not the sniffles, whenever a red player is two blocks above a beacon, it teleports the red armor stand to that player, and the armor stands are babies, so they are low to the ground, so they don't, like, cover your face or anything. Um, and whenever a blue player is two blocks above an armor stand, it's uh, above a, a beacon, it teleports the blue armor stand to it, to them. So, and then uh, this item right here, back to last checkpoint, look down and right click, is actually a snowball. And so when you right click, it throws the snowball, as you can hear. Um, and also, so what happens is I've got uh, three commands running all, at, all the time on every snowball. And they run uh, because command blocks are activated in this order. So um, these are all going at the same. These command blocks, because uh, of this fill clock, they're all being activated at the same time, except for the fact uh, that uh, this command block uh, is executed first. Like there's an order that they have to be executed in. Uh, because they can't be executed at the exact same time because that would ruin the console. So what happens is, this one 
they're all executed at the same time, but in an order, if that makes any sense. So this one is first, this one is second, this one's third, this one's fourth, because uh, this is the direction of positive z. So the, high, the ones with the highest z coordinates are activated last. So what happens is there's three commands that are being executed on this snowball. Where the f where's my hole? That is a question I've never had to ask, but uh, I'm asking it now. There it is. All right. So there's three commands that are being executed on all snowballs in this order. So the first one, the first two, are teleporting, uh, executing. No, teleporting uh, all red players in a radius of one to uh, the red armor stand, and then teleporting all blue players in a radius of one to the blue armor stand. And uh, then the third command is killing the snowball. So uh, it only executes the first commands once. Um, so yeah, that is, I think, all the redstone for the map. Uh, yeah, that's the quartz speed. Oh, and also um, the the item is all, is constantly being replaced itemed into here. So like, I could take it out of the slot and it's still there. Um, but yeah, that is the map. So I'm still working on the ending. It's gonna be it's gonna there's gonna be one, but uh, I just thought I'd show you all this new stuff I've added. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys next time. Bye!